He sold this Danbury Mint Santa's Big Night Philadelphia Eagles OG foam, original foam. Got this at a yard sale for $10 and he took a best offer. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I am going to talk to you about big money bolos. Some of them may be unexpected. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And I'm going to tell you that some of these are incredible. Uh, definitely learned a lot from this video. These come from my featured members. That means they have joined memberships to be featured in this video. If you would like to join memberships, there is a link whoop, down here that says join. You can check that out. Level two gets you in this video. Or um, if you don't see that, you can go down and there's a link in the description. All right, you guys, we are going to get started here. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Thank you all so much for being here. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and my channel is all about bolo items. So be sure to check out another video after this one. The first item comes from Danielle, Yard Sales and Dreams, and she has an awesome YouTube channel with tons of reseller content. And she is very entertaining as well as educational. So definitely go and check her out. All of the channels in this video will be linked down below. If they do not have a YouTube channel, I will also include their eBay store down below. So be sure to sub them up and follow their eBay stores. Right here, this first item is this vintage 1990s Nike store display sign hanging advertisement. And she got this at a yard sale for $5. She priced it high, but an offer of $175 came in. And because she only had five bucks in it, she grabbed that $175. The next item she sold are these vintage lot of 45 pieces of 1980s plastic hair clip brets by Goody. If you guys don't know, Goody vintage brets are definitely a bolo. She priced these at $75 and took a best offer of $37.50. Her cost of goods was 50 cents at a church sale. The next item she sold is this boom box. It's by Sanyo. It's, uh, it was a barn find, she said. And she got this at a barn yard sale for $15 and took a best offer of $100. The next item comes from 1987 Ventures. She hasn't put anything out on her YouTube channel lately, but sub her up for when she comes back. And she is a, definitely a bolo finder. She found this vintage, uh, I think it's vintage. If not, it's new old stock Playmates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Krang's Android Body Figure. She got this in a huge toy haul, paid a buck for it, and took a best offer of $100 for that. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item here is this vintage hand-painted peacock um, flower silver embossed milk glass decorative plate. How beautiful is that? She got it at a yard sale for one buck and sold this for $48 plus shipping. This is a Joseph Originals Bonnie Town and Country Girl pink ruffled dress. And from what I understand, apparently it was supposed to be holding something in the hand that was missing. So she did have it priced a little higher. Somebody reached out to her and told her that. She reduced the price some and it still sold for $100 plus shipping. She got this at a Boy Scout sale for $1. The next item comes from In the Life of a Reseller. Uh, Josie, uh, Designs by Josie was her uh, YouTube name before. And I believe she is Designs by Yo Josie over on Whatnot. So definitely check her out there if you guys are on Whatnot. I do have a whatnot link down below that will take you to my whatnot. If you could follow me also, I am going to sell on there eventually. I'm just haven't done it yet. So stay tuned. Um, she sold this uh, Cartier or is it Cartier, Cartier, Cartier. I'm not sure how to say it, but it's a watch. It's a women's watch. And I believe it was broken. Yeah. Two screws missing on the case and a crack kind of in bad shape, you guys. And listen to this. She got this in a lot. Uh, she got 500 or paid $500 for 300 watch watches. And this one was broken and she took best offer of $1,200 for that. 
So even broken, it sold for that much. Here's a vintage Microma, Chroma, Microma stainless steel LCD digital men's watch. Blade Runner doesn't look that great. Uh, got some condition issues there, but it does still uh, show the words or the words, the numbers there, the time. She sold this for $150 best offer in 24 hours of listing. The next item are these set of Denny's coffee mugs. And she said a 70 year old woman stole them. So I don't know what the story is behind that, but she got them free <laughs> and she sold. maybe that's a joke. I don't know. Maybe she knows the person. I have no idea, but she sold these for $30 plus shipping. The next item or the next uh, reseller is a rural squirrel and her YouTube channel is fantastic. If you are looking for Goodwill Benz content where you watch somebody dig through the bends and have a lot of fun with other YouTubers doing contests and challenges, Kristen is your girl. She's amazing. Check out her YouTube channel. All right. What did she sell? She's also a bolo finder. She finds the most amazing items at the Goodwill Benz. She's got this antique pierced silver frame black and white enamel bead light chain mail mesh purse. That is a mouthful right there. Lots of keywords. She got this at the Goodwill Benz for $1.50 and took a best offer of $60 on that. The next item is this toast wool cardigan sweater. And she said it was not a brand she was familiar with, but it was new with tags. So she went ahead and picked it up. It retailed for 200 bucks. And it's $1.59 a pound at the bins she picked it up at. And she sold this for $79.99 plus shipping. The next item are these, oh, I always forget how to say this. Is it Lucis or Lucia? Uh, L-U-C-C-H-E-S-E. -C -C -E. I apologize. I can never remember how to say that. But they are boots. And it is a common known Bolo brand. So Lucis, maybe? I don't know. Thrift store paid $30, sold them for $169.99 plus shipping. One Stop Shop 59. This is her eBay store. She does not have a YouTube channel. Definitely follow her eBay store. She has amazing stuff. To follow a store, you want to click on the heart right here, Save Seller. And let's see what she sold. All right, this first item is this haunted house, Halloween ghosts, bats, pumpkins, tombstones, encased glass dome. Not fun to ship. Uh, she got this at an estate sale for $5, took a best offer of 75 with free shipping. The next item she sold is this Ans Ansley, A-Y-N-S-L-E-Y, -E I think is how it's spelled or how it's, yeah, that's how it's spelled. I think that's how it's pronounced, Ansley. Red Bull Flowers, Gold Scroll, England, Bone China, Hand Painted. She got this at the Goodwill for $1.19 and sold it for a best offer of $28. And this is what the back looks like. The next item she sold is this vintage Mark Roberts Father Christmas Fairy King Elf Hard to Find Small Doll 17 Inch, $158. Um, and I believe she took a best offer of 118 on this, but she got this at an estate clean out for $3. The next one comes from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. Awesome YouTube channel, specializes in jewelry and vintage items. Definitely sub her up. She sold this Barbie. It's a vintage early Barbie doll, Mattel Burnett ponytail doll with clothes and sunglasses from 1958. She put this up for auction and it sold for $154.50. She got this at an estate sale in a lot, and her approximate cost of goods for this was $5. This right here, she said she likes to pick up unique and different items, and this is definitely that. It's an octopus lantern candle holder. It's unusual, and it's nautical, and it's by Spy or SPI, and it's a very cool piece. She got this at a yard sale for $5 and sold it for $110 plus shipping. The next item she sold is this NES Super Nintendo um, vintage cartridge only. It's Evo, and she's got the TV showing that it works here, but it is this is what it looks like right there. And she sold this for $239.99, and she picked it up for a dollar. She said, cosmetically not so good. Please see for pictures, and it works. 
So basically it's got some condition issues, but that's what's great about this is she showed it up on the screen in working condition. So very good idea. Flipping it good. Flipping it good is our retail arbitrage reseller um, that is a member. He gets stuff at Ross, Burlington, TJ Maxx, places like that. And it is unbelievable the things he finds. He's also been doing some lost cargo and different things on his channel. So definitely sub him up. Um, he just finds incredible things. And a lot of people keep retail arbitrage things to themselves, but he's telling you what he's finding at Ross, how much he's selling it for and what he's paying for it. Um, let's look at the first item here. He sold these Simpsons Collector's Edition season one through 12 box sets of DVDs. And he sold these over on Mercari for $160. He picked them up at a yard sale for $20 and they took two weeks to sell. And he is... Uh, he goes by his name. Um, I'm not even sure how to pronounce it. Is it Ciro uh, Sevilla on uh, Mercari? If you guys want to follow him over there. He sold these Nike men's size seven mercurial vapor 13 elite soccer cleats. And he got these at Ross for $29 and 99 cents. And he sold these for $170. Just an example of a lot of the shoes that he gets. He knows what to pick up and he knows what sells high. He does a great job. So definitely someone to follow. These are 1996 Dark Age uh, starter decks. Uh, he got these at a yard sale for $10 and sold them for a best offer of 110 plus shipping. And that's what they look like. Never seen those before. Lola's Trunk Treasures. This is her eBay store. Lots of great items. Um, check out her store down below. You may be able to find out, find a Christmas gift. Look at this. These are new in the package. Enchantables. Anybody have anybody looking for some enchantables for a great kid's Christmas gift? That will be linked down below. And let's see what she sold here. She sold these Disney books. There's 11 of them. And she paid a dollar each at the Goodwill for these. And she took a best offer of $60 plus shipping. The next item she sold is this Fantagraphics Gil Gordon Private Detective book. And she got this at the Goodwill for $2. Took a best offer of $37.49 with free shipping. The next item is this throw or blanket. It's a LG Vera Bradley Merry Mischief deer plush black throw blanket and she got this for five dollars and eighty cents at the goodwill and she sold it for eighty dollars and ninety nine cents plus shipping the next item comes from the philly flipper and talk about a channel that is just growing in leaps and bounds because he is putting out amazing yard sale content if you want some entertainment and education at the same time this is a fantastic channel um, he also has Philly Flipper Live where he does live shows and he does like shipping and packing videos and they're also educational. So sub him up on both. He is at almost 15,000 subscribers. So let's help get him there. He is linked down below. He sold this Danbury Mint Santa's Big Night Philadelphia Eagles OG Foam, original foam. Got this at a yard sale for $10 and he took a best offer of $500 on that. That is incredible. He got this vacuum at a yard sale for $20. It's an Electro Lux vacuum cleaner and he sold it for $198 plus shipping. And the next item he sold is this little bike. It's a Fisher Price Smart Cycle with cables. He got it at a garage sale for $5, tested and working, and he sold this for $120. The Cha-Ching King, another channel that is growing like crazy. And he has a lot of videos that are great for um, new resellers. He teaches you how to do the basic things if you're new. But for those of you that have been selling for a while, he is a bolo finder. And you're going to find tons of bolo content on his channel, things that you should be looking for. So sub him up for sure. He sold these bowls. And wait until you see these bolos. They are just incredible. Uh, there's a lot of three Texas Wear mixing bowls, and he sold these for, a, um, I'm sorry, $137.99. He said it was a fast sale. He got these at a private pick for a dollar each. 
The next item are these flags. It's a 24 pack of classroom flags. I believe they're new old stock. He has sold six of these, you guys. He got them, um, he bought hundreds of these for $450 on Facebook Marketplace. So if we go into sold, you can see here that he did accept an offer. Somebody bought four of them. And then it looks like the one sold for $134.99. All right. This is a vintage Kyle Petty uh, NASCAR vintage shirt here. And he got this for two bucks at a thrift store and sold it for $161.99. The next item is this Gunny Sacks Cotton Prairie style maxi dress. And the person, it was a private pick. The person was going to throw this away. And he's like, no, 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 don't throw it away. I want it. And they charged him $1. It's Gunny Sacks, you guys. He did pay $20 to have it dry clean. So his cost of goods was $21. And he said after it sold for $280, he did take some money to the guy that he, um, or the couple guy, I don't know who it was, from the private pick. And he did give them some extra money for that because he turned a dollar into 280 and that's just the kind of guy he is. So uh, this is a vintage 1950s, 60s Texas tomato authentic sack dress, potato cut, sew to fit, uncut. Check this out. That is funny, right? And he sold this for a best offer of $125 plus shipping. And he got it at an estate sale for $10. All right, you guys, what did you think about those big money bolos? How fantastic. So unexpected, some of those. And some of those flips, I mean, just minimal. Uh, what they paid for it was just this small price. And it was just big money. So check out these YouTubers, check out these eBay stores. They are all amazing Bolo finders. You're definitely going to learn a lot from them. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.